And we're back. It's new Espresso Week. Alrighty, this time we're talking all about Ceremony Coffee. So I'm trying something new in these reviews, so hopefully this will help. So let's cut to my very first cappuccino. Okay, it's time to have the first couple drinks of the new espresso I'm checking out by Ceremony. Um, as I get into the review, interesting story about Ceremony. Uh, yeah, so kind of why I'm interested in them, but also so I'm surprised to get, uh, excited to get this coffee, I should say. So let's, um, let's take a taste. So I should start, uh, again, I did basic uh, parameters for this uh, drink, 18 and a half in, uh, about 36 out. I think it was like 37 and some change. So um, let's give it a taste. Good. Um, cocoa base. Uh, def def definitely comes through milk chocolate. Yeah, I would say that kind of sweet, but not dark chocolate in that it has a That it has that like heavier Mouthfeel to it uh, just kind of stronger uh, Chocolate base um, They also say sugar cookie and creamy. I don't really get the cream Maybe the sugar cookie because the sweetness just isn't real defined the sweetness just isn't defined like it would be with say some other coffees where it's like a definite fruity sweetness or something like that. Yeah, pretty good so far. Definitely getting the milk chocolate and um, kind of that sugar cookie. I would say probably cane sugar sweetness would be more like it. So yeah, not bad. We'll see how it goes uh, the next couple weeks and then we'll do a full review. All right. Welcome back. So you saw kind of my first impressions of when I first drank it. I just brewed it, set my phone up, record to kind of give you my initial impressions. So in that lead in, I kind of talked a little bit about why there's a unique story for me personally with Ceremony Coffee Roasters. So somebody that I very much admire in the coffee industry and I've mentioned throughout most of my videos, and again, they don't pay me. They're just really good friends of mine. I think they're doing amazing things. And that's why I love to promote what they're doing. Again, they don't pay me, but maybe they should. Anyways, so um, I talk a lot about Sweet Bloom Coffee and um, Andy Springer, who is uh, one of the owners of Sweet Bloom, super amazing guy, one of the nicest guys in the world, actually got his start in the coffee industry at Ceremony. So that's why it was kind of interesting for me. Um, when I got this coffee, again, if you're not familiar, I use a coffee um, ordering service that sends me coffees just on the random. So they kind of, I kind of key in the, the types of espressos that I like, and they send me specialty coffees they think that I will enjoy. And then I kind of go in and review them to hope kind of refine and they'll find new roasters and that sort of thing to kind of give me better coffees. Um, so I did not know Ceremony was coming. However, I have been to Baltimore and um, that's kind of, they're from the Maryland area. And they had a really cool cafe right on the Baltimore Harbor. So the nice thing there is I was able to go, kind of go for a run on my, go for a run from my hotel all the way around the harbor to their, to their cafe enjoy a nice sweaty uh, espresso. Actually, it wasn't too sweaty because it's kind of fall, so it's kind of cool. So hopefully it didn't, wasn't too gnar gnarly inside the, the cafe, but I was able to enjoy a nice coffee and stuff before I ran back. And it was only like three miles one way. So it was like a six mile, 10K total. So it wasn't that big of a run. But anyways, um, and I was running at uh, sea level and I live at altitude. So yeah, I, I was probably feeling pretty good. But any anyways, that's uh, my running has nothing to do with coffee. But anyways, uh, when I was there, I was actually wasn't overly thrilled with the coffee. So when I got back, Andy asked me, he's like, oh, well, what did you think of Ceremony? And I don't know, I just wasn't, um, I just wasn't like overly impressed with it. It just, it just has this predominantly roasty note, which if you've seen my videos before, I'm just not huge on. Um, as you can see in that intro of my first drink, I didn't really get that initially, but to be honest, I didn't finish this entire bag. Yeah, I just wasn't that into it. Um, I don't know, it was um, some milk chocolate. Again, as I mentioned, yeah, some sugarcane sweetness, but then as the coffee kind of degassed, it just got this, and on the back of their bag, they have this like, as it gets darker, it gets more bitter sweetness. I just kind of got bitter. Um, it wasn't really, 
like the, you know they have noted here caramel caramelized sweetness or fruit sweetness I don't know I just it unfortunately for me even though there's a lot of cool history behind here and, and I, without ceremony we don't have sweet bloom um, but yeah it, it just, I just wasn't into it um, I noticed that when I was there and as, as I started drinking I was like yeah this reminds me when it's in the cafe so I didn't feel that my brew parameters were off and actually the more I brewed it so I tried pushing it a little harder the extraction a little harder I actually started to under extract the espresso so I was doing like 18 and a half grams in and I was doing 36 40 grams out uh, you know kind of that range in say 21 seconds 20 seconds so really fast as I under extracted the coffee it tasted better it was a little bit more drinkable and again I don't want to waste a coffee I paid good money for it so again I pay for all these coffees they don't send them to me for free so again I'm not uh it's just my personal opinion on these copies that I have paid for. But yeah, it just wasn't, um, I don't know, really wasn't that great. I feel that uh, there's a lot better copies out there. So unfortunately, I think this is going to be one of my first, I'll give it two stars. I'll say it's a two star coffee just because it's not grocery store, black, just nasty coffee. Um, it is definitely a step up from that, but I think I would actually prefer let me think. Would I prefer to drink the Green Mermaid or would I prefer to drink this? Mm, that's a tough one. I mean, if I go to the Green Mermaid, I know what I'm getting. And it, sometimes it's my only option, so I just deal with it. And so I'm used to that flavor of the Green Mermaid. And again, it, the Green Mermaid has its place. So I'm not always against it. I don't know. Would I rather drink this or the Green Mermaid? Yeah, that's kind of a toss-up, I guess. If there was a if there was a ceremony and a Green Mermaid next to each other, I would go to ceremony. I would say that. Yeah, I would go support ceremony before I went to the Green Mermaid. Um, and I guess if I was back in Maryland, Maryland, and I was looking for coffee, I probably would go back to ceremony. But yeah, not my favorite coffee. Um, yeah, only two stars. Sorry, ceremony. Um, maybe you need to think about hiring Andy back. Anyways, um, so this was my review of Ceremony's Mass Appeal Espresso. Um, if you haven't, check them out. If you live in Maryland, go check them out. Tell me why I'm wrong. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you'll get something a little better than I did. So if you like these videos and you think they're helpful and they're helping you to find the best coffee experience you can have at home, Click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit like on this video, share with your friends so that I know that I'm doing something that you enjoy, because that's what really matters, not what I enjoy. Hopefully it's helping you. And if you, by doing those things, I know that you enjoy them. By subscribing to the channel, I know that you're enjoying it, and I'm helping you create cafe quality coffee at home. And also knowing that I'm helping to other support other especially coffee roasters all across the globe, uh, especially here in North America. And uh, that's what it's all about. Let's help out our specialty coffee roasters. So yeah, check out Ceremony, leave a comment below, tell me why I'm wrong, or maybe tell me why I'm right, why you think that you're right, you've had better, better coffee. So yeah, that's it. Until next time, coffee, pedal, repeat.